Hi guys, here we are again at Moving Tips with yet another useful episode on moving. This time we are going to talk about moving your art studio. Do not forget to push the like button and subscribe if you want to keep seeing our tips on smooth and stress-free move. Remember, if you hit the notification button, you'll be informed of the new videos first. Moving in art studio is a great challenge if you don't know basic tips and hacks. And even if you do, there is always something you'll find useful if you keep watching. Like, do you know if you can load your chemicals on the moving truck? Keep watching this video and you'll find out. Issues like this and many more are discussed at Moving Me, a company that can find an easy solution for any kind of move. The first step to moving your studio belongings is to reduce them as much as possible. The less you own, the easier the move becomes. Try to be very selective about what you keep to reduce the clutter. That is not only about the artworks, but mostly about the materials that you haven't been using for a while. No artist would be tough enough to toss away an artwork. So, here are some ideas of how to declutter your art studio. Have a moving sale offering your older work at a good discount. Someone gets your art at a reduced price and you have lightened your moving load. Win-win! Gift your work to friends, charities and other places, hospitals, retirement communities, etc. that might like some free artwork to hang on their walls. Take a photo so you'll have a record, then have your artist friends Hurt your unwanted artwork at a cathartic way to start anew. Moving tips. Next, call the materials you don't use. Every artist goes through the steps and stages of developmental research, and the side effect of that research, in most cases, is piled in the corners of your studio. Yep. Time to give that stuff away to some other supply hoarding artists. Now to packing. The key to making the packing go quickly and smoothly is to not skimp on packing materials. Don't use old, worn shipping boxes as they are generally too thin to protect your supplies. Instead, purchase heavy-duty cardboard boxes, packing paper and bubble wrap. One of the best strategies is to save the boxes your frames arrived in. That way you know you have appropriate boxes and you won't have to search high and low for unusual sizes. If you have a lot of unframed pieces stored in a flat file, you'll want to hoard some cardboard tubes as well. Don't overpack your boxes, cramming your materials together without padding. Instead, wrap your supplies well and add extra padding around the bottom sides and top of the box. If it's important enough to transport, it's important enough to pack it well. Home Depot has very affordable supplies and you can return any unused purchases, so buy more than you need to eliminate unnecessary extra trips to the store. Hire qualified movers to do the lifting. It's time-consuming, back-breaking, and I end up with lots of bruises and smashed fingers. But handle moving your fragile artwork and breakable supplies yourself. And here is the answer to a very important question. Can you load your chemicals on the moving truck? No, you can't. And even if you could, we would not encourage you not to do it. Don't ask the movers to move your chemicals. Most movers won't deal with your chemicals. Plus, the last thing you want is for a container of turpentine to suddenly start leaking in a box. Seal everything in plastic bags packed with copious amounts of packing materials and drive carefully. Don't let the huge task of moving all of your art supplies and artwork get you down. By strategizing your move, you can take the stress out of relocation and focus on turning your new space into the studio of your dreams. That's all for now, thanks for watching us and let us know in the comments below what you want to see in our next videos and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Stay safe and good luck with your next move. Moving tips.